Oh, right. <laughs> Forgot something. Oh, hi, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... He's a Mike Lieutenant Rakir at your service. There we go. Let's shave yeah. all of that <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, that feels weird. Oh. Um, welcome back to Nefarious. Uh, if I managed, if I actually for remembered to update the stream yeah, chat, you know, the stream title this time. <laughs> And yeah, <laughs> okay, back with this game, huh? And yep. come on, controller. You were working earlier. Oh, wait. Wait, where's Ready. the sound of the game? Wait, you're not getting sounds? I'm not getting this. I hear you and me, but I don't hear the game. Okay. That should not be the case. Let's see. If, if anything went wrong, uh, OBS has been updated. But if it, if anything went wrong, that's we should have noticed that during the last stream already. Because well, it, <laughs> I updated it on Friday. Uh, let me see. Advanced on this. Oh wait, then I'll have to remove this from the over. Always being on top. Let me see. Uh, monitor and outputs. Uh, yeah, that should be. That should be recording everything. Okay. Uh, no sound, or did you, did you maybe mute it or something? Uh, no. Okay. I haven't muted it. 
So if I had muted, I'd probably have muted you as well. Hmm. Let me see. Anything in the... Let's see. Stream quality is the usual, so that should be giving sound. Let me see. If I just stop the screen share for a second and start it up again. Okay. Still no sounds? Nope. Okay, the heck is going on then? I guess we just need to restart the game or something. Yeah, it, it, it shouldn't be the game because I'm very clearly seeing the audio bar move from it. And I'm hearing it myself, so... Must be something on Discord's end or something? Okay, try to rejoin the call. So why is the game just not responding to a controller now for some reason? Actually, I think I might know why. Still from the game, only you. Okay, that just that just should not be the case. It, it, it worked fine last time we played this without you. Maybe if I restart it a bit and try and shake something loose, also hopefully get the controller to be recognized again. Nope. Okay. That, what the heck? Uh, okay, it can be... Can you, can you triple check that you don't have the screenshot muted or something? I already have! It's on half volume! Yeah... Try it on 100, try moving it around a bit. Sometimes stuff like that can get stuck or something. Nothing. Okay, that's just happening. Um... Maybe your settings? Maybe the output has been changed or something? It has not. Mm. For again, if, if it, it has, it would have been noticed by the first stream today. Hmm. And still the controller isn't being recognized. What the heck is going on then with everything? So, maybe it's somewhat mm. related to the controller? I very much doubt that. At the very least, that should not be the case in anything. Because also last week we played this, and and I was using the controller, and nothing came of that. Yeah, but that, that, what I mean, like we, I can't hear the sound, and you can't have you just using the controller. So but... it sounds like some settings for your controller and sound got altered. That it's related to this game. Yeah, I, I find that highly doubtful. Let me just go over everything again. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, why do some of these even have audio options? Let's see. Let's see, that should have muted oh, it for a I bit. I hear it! I hear it! I hear it! I hear it! Okay, you hear again? I hear it again! Okay. Th that was basically just from me uh, <laughs> turning the monitoring and output on and off again for a moment. Okay. So it was OBS just being weird for a moment. Uh, how many times have we been having to use, do just that simple thing to the on and off? I think it is about the second or third, maybe? Or at least with audio like this? Uh, no. Hmm. Try about maybe ten or more? I don't think that many. But yeah, let's see. Uh, no, we've gotten see some more room the last time. Uh, I think you need. I think you. Uh, it's right. Uh, uh, forgot about this. Always on top with the preview. There we go. Now I can see in here. Okay. Yeah. This, I said this, we should always, whenever we have this issue again, let's try that method first. It's the yeah. easiest one. <laughs> okay, now we've gotten through the third area and the villain museum, really? Okay. 
and then we have Adapt Code Labs, and then we have a Crow's own hideout over there, which is where the ending is supposed to be, but from what Rakir is telling, that's not going to be the end of it. So let's head for Adapt Code Labs for now. Let's see. I was kind of, I was kind of surprised to see our dungeon actually have a prisoner in it for once. And May Apple of all princesses. Is she not your best friend? Not counting you. <laughs> I'm not your friend, I'm your secretary. <laughs> Let's get on with this. Last princess on our agenda, and we can wrap up business. <laughs> Experimental princess Ver Veraday is kept in a cage. It seems that even royalty cannot outrun the glorious march of criminalism. <laughs> Faraday, Faraday cage. What? Uh, a Faraday cage is a, a cage that is put over uh, around something and then has, well, power run through it to block any sort of uh, signal coming in and out. Oh, it's a pardon. Yeah. Of an actual <laughs> fate. Okay, okay, I have a catch ya. She is a being composed of all the intangible concepts that describe the perfect princess. <laughs> a grotesque mockery of science, religion, and sentient life everywhere. <laughs> I adore it. Of course you do. <laughs> This is one of our last stops, boss. Once we have day, we can you know, yeah, we can proceed to the final step in your master plan. Okay, I, I think because of the technical stuff there, we should probably extend the stream by a few minutes. Yeah, about 5, 10. Yeah, let's put yeah, on 10. 5 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Uh, all right, you got some. <laughs> and I'm gonna confess here. This is probably the only princess I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Okay, they definitely I upped security on this. Wait, I try to remember how she looks at everything, but I'm drawing blank. Okay, these things are actually pretty cha pretty dangerous hey, now. Hey, safe EDA who work in the game. Okay. Yeah, they probably had the uh, <laughs> they probably had the fake inspection <laughs> the trick pulled on them. <laughs> Just that dude. Damn it. Because that's that's a trope now. Huh? That's just, you go to, you go disguised into a, a villain's lair, and you claim to be an inspector. I think it's a trope for even the heroes and villains to use actually on both sides. Yeah, I did not see you there, officer. Oh dear. Yeah, hello. And then I sat down with the smartest person on the planet. I saw the inherent value of Dr. Cackle's endgame. So I invested some of my fortune into Adapt Co. Labs. And was there an earlier one of these? Hmm. Who are e? Big Ooh. laser. Okay. <laughs> I missed the both of them completely. Okay. Wait, are those freeze rays? Uh, they might be. Get lost you already, just take your early retirement and go. I, I imagine... There would have been ice on the floor and frost plasma, I would imagine that there would be... other marks on the floor. Hey, some cash. Okay, it's still too close. All right then, That's, I get the feeling I'm going to die at least one more time from everything. 
I'm trying to identify what the heck this is. It looks electric, Blue Beam. Oh, then why it. does it look so frosty? Hmm. Oh, no. Okay, that took a bit for the dots to connect. Let's see. Dr. Cackle used to menace Insectia as a villain. But he was far too pragmatic to resist the urge to go to legitimate for the right, uh, for the right price. If anything about villains, a lot of them actually do want to make the world a better place. Sometimes if you cut them a check, they actually will. Yeah, B basically a lot of people well, would, uh, would just do it for the money. <laughs> okay. Be a bit careful. And there we go. Let's see. Princess Pharaoh Day. Is it too late to turn back? I think I'm beginning to hate myself, but this is too important to stop. Okay, the heck did they do then? I should just gotta love that they are pulling the creepy music for this one. Why do we get the feeling we're going to find her and she's like a living doll or something? I'm still really blank on her. <clears throat> Pardon? <clears throat> it's... He told me it would per work perfectly. But they came out wrong. I don't know what to do with them. They are not the perfect princess that this project set out to create. Oh, great. We're going to go into horror with this, aren't we? There we go. Let's see, anything... Actually, yep. Actually, progress should be... is probably up uh, to the right. And loot is probably to... Uh, up. You up. Uh. Damn it. Uh, does it mean that the previous one has just been lost? The previous loot box? I'll just say call it like that. <laughs> uh. Okay, this is going to take a bit. At least you don't lose all your coins. You lose some of them and you can get some of them back. Yeah. Pretty sure that was the so exact not... same spots. It... What the? You didn't lose anyone this time. Yeah. So I guess there is some mercy to it. It's whatever's of value is likely upwards. Uh, yeah. Okay. And we'll see if the other. Recovery box is still over there on the right. Okay, if it weren't for the coin grab noise there, I would have thought... And yeah, we lost some at least, it seems. Uh, if it wasn't for the coin grab noise there, I would have thought that the box was empty there. There. Uh, more failures. This doesn't feel right anymore. They had the best intentions. And we all know about that, huh? Yep. Oh, come on! I, I don't think this is a good idea to have uh, specific jump points over instant death. Well, it does put pressure, but... It's... 
It's the same. I told Dr. Cackle to shut it down, and I was going to close the doors for good in this place. He went behind my back and did one more experiment before I could do anything about it. I should have expected that from an ex villain. Okay, and is that going to be the uh, one final correct one, or. What the heck is. Um. Okay, planetarium. That's just a random thing to have in here all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, I think I think we might actually be the one rescuing the princess from the villain this time. Hey, pizza, you doing well? Hello, pizza. What does this scent the smell of pizza around here? Is it like, oh, no, she's ham? Okay, I'm making myself hungry. Well. I just <laughs> ate pizza sandwiches. But this one was perfect. She was everything I had asked for. Princess of pure energy. Okay. Uh, also, something that I got distracted uh, from because of the technical uh, difficulties earlier. Uh, but I have something uh, yeah, something to say. Uh, let's see. Uh, pizza, I'm good. Just yeah. watched the Fortnite live event since I couldn't get in and play myself. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure, I don't remember if I mentioned it on stream before, but we we had a cat that kept sneaking in uh, recently. A big uh, three-color one. Not the one that people would call patchwork cats. Uh, but yeah, B basically today we, uh, we, well, basically when today it snuck in again, we closed uh, the cat flap to keep it inside to ensure it wouldn't get out. And we had, we, we, <clears throat> We called someone to check it for any chips or such. Uh, well, that turned out to be a dead end. But the, the I'm not sure what they specifically work for, if it's a charity or such, but the, uh, the person who came for that, they also checked them against a list of missing cats. And well, guess what? They were a hit. Oh. So yeah. Just before stream, uh, their owner came and pick, uh, came to pick them up, and apparently their <laughs> actual name is Simba. Of course it is. <laughs> the way it's a bit more yeah. unique than compared to all the names one here nowadays. Yep. But yeah, that's a bit of good news. Yeah, that oh, is hello. good news. And hello! So there's where one of the crowns is hidden. Okay. Um, Alright, since it's uh, Oscar, I am, I, I'm doing good today. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's someone who has their cat back. That's me failing with platforming. And, well, that's one less stress point for our own cats. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I, I, may, I mostly just... I'm trying to get to the highest area here to see if uh, there's anything hidden over that way. Other than the... Actually, let's just grab the crown and move the hell on, because I'm... I'm very obviously failing with this. <laughs> and pizza with the pun. There we go. Okay. Now, let's move on. If there is anything up there... Yeah, I, I don't care. Let's see. She's fierce, dedicated, and smart. She acts just like a human. We are closely monitoring her behavior. As she grows more powerful, she will transform. She can unite the world. If we're going to end up... <laughs> she's going to end up becoming a bridezilla of sorts, huh? Okay. Yeah, let's see. Pizza? No, no, Helen, this is not platforming, this is planet forming. 
Yeah, the, the Planet Crafter oh, game oh, uh, oh. is a completely different one, the pizza. Okay, I I thought it was a continuous line of fans, not a moving one. Things really just stick with us, huh? There, fuck off. Okay, let's get some pizza. Lover, let me funny damn it. <laughs> Why do you say that with an accent? <laughs> yeah, well, you'll have to be funny first, then, pizza. <laughs> Mine. Don't forget about this. Now. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like these things. Okay. Yeah, I, sort of, I think I still remember this level a little bit, but it's three. Okay. Uh, hello there. Someone has come to rescue me? Kidnap. <laughs> the hero in purple armor. Vidlin. <laughs> to escort me to the heroic headquarters. Nefarious lair. <laughs> Please, get me out of here. Oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> Let's cause as much chaos as we can on the way out. <laughs> oh, there uh, she is! Well, I guess we have our very own... Uh, you know, oh. yeah. Okay, she, she she makes us jump higher. <laughs> and she gives us infinite grenades. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I start to remember her a bit. Yeah, I do feel down. I was... When she was speaking, and I was wondering, all right, we soon will see her. We we'll soon will see her, <laughs> without realizing she was in the tube. <laughs> She's so tiny! Um, <laughs> She's more a fairy than a princess. I, I guess that makes her a fairy princess. <laughs> Did she look... Mechanical? Yeah, more like she's made out of ice or something. <laughs> Unlimited power. <laughs> that laugh and then that kick, that noise. <laughs> okay, that was just perfect. <laughs> I think our little princess might be going a little mad with power. Not bad. <laughs> okay, get rid of all of you. I, I still don't really get why some grenades go far and some only get thrown a limbo distance. Okay. Ooh, hello. Can I... Let's see here from... Uh... Ah, damn it. It's a lover. Wow, okay, not even... How burns hurt that much as you burns? <laughs> what the fuck kind of username is that? Cougar? Yeah, we were we were both confused by that name as well. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, best rescue ever. It's also your first rescue, so you don't have much of a point of reference. Kidnapping. <laughs> uh. Yeah, technically it's both, since, well, we're kidnapping her from here, but on the other hand, she was... <laughs> we're kidnapping her from her home, but on the other hand, uh, she was not wanting to be... Oh, <laughs> Crow, I'm here for Mayapple. Uh, Mac, you, you're a few levels late. You aren't here to uh, rescue Faraday? Farah who? Enough with your games. <laughs> Didn't you break up with Mayapple? 
I, I wish I to apologize for the manner in which... <laughs> blah, 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 I don't care, but I can't. <laughs> this time our battle will be different. I have a ma momentum on my side. <laughs> Not even you can stop me now. Oh, hello. Time to bring back the status quo with the solid beating. <laughs> that jerk, let's kick his blue butt. <laughs> let's see. Hey, this old thing. It's one of my first inventions. I thought it was destroyed. Adapt Comus had salvaged it. Those hacks. Does it work? One way to find out. Oh man, someone changed all the buttons around. Stupid lefties. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I think I have a feeling what this battle is going to be similar to. And is this a reference to Evangelion? Not sure, but I think this bot. Oh, no, it's not the loud I thought it was going to be. Okay. Okay, so we shield with this thing, but it's also... Oh, wait. Okay. Block enough... Block enough of those boomerangs, and we launch our own attack. There we go. Okay. Now, I was thinking this was going to be like... Uh, the... Uh, I'm actually drawing a blank on the name, but uh, one of uh, R Robotnik's uh, uh, bosses. But then again, he's already had one. Yeah, I was thinking it was going to be like the... Uh, what was it, the Death Egg? I have a Lego version of it, actually, but I'm completely, I'm completely blanking on the name at the moment. Okay, yeah. For each hit that we block, one of the lights goes on, block four, and we launch our counter-attack. One more. Oh yeah, actually pretty clever to use your enemy's attacks against them. There we go. It's dropped. <laughs> and he just drops out of the sky like a brick. And we actually got all the crowns. What were you like? Uh, okay, interesting boss fight. Since you were the boss. But it, it was surprisingly smooth. Yeah. Took a moment to figure out, but otherwise, well. <laughs> Hi, pretty lady. Hi, I'm Faraday. You are immediately my least favorite! Oh, come on! <laughs> come on, Becky. I like you, you're funny. Boss. Alright, everyone in this room not composed of intangible concepts can stay. Everyone else needs to leave. <laughs> you said Miss Mayapple was here? I'm gonna go talk to Miss Ma Miss Maple. Okay, that thing is going to end up consuming the entire planet, isn't it? <laughs> the shrill resonance falls over my now weird ears. Now, don't be so dramatic. <laughs> okay, May Apple isn't out here. Okay. <laughs> Let's check in with the rest. Malachites? Oh, you brought... Ariella? On boards? Oh, jeez. Keep it on the download that I'm partying in here, will you? I'm kind of her enemy. Uh, what? So, yeah. Don't let her kill me or anything. Oh, yeah. They forgot the ogres and dwarves are at war. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, nobody here. Let's see, pizza, a lot of clouds. Yeah. <laughs> what are you numbskulls doing? Why is my apple out of her cell? Why is my break wing? 
<laughs> it was just so gloomy down here. <laughs> Pink is a pretty color, boss. <laughs> it's a lovely color, but that's not the point. <laughs> this is a break. It's supposed to be gloomy and depressing. <laughs> I decided to crush the hopes and dreams of our prisoners into a malleable paste that I could spread over my toast. Uh, literally? Like, is it one of those intangible concepts given physical form kind of thing? <laughs> if not, uh, I wouldn't be putting any kind of paste or prisoners in meat onto your food. <laughs> oh, come on. It does not sound sanitary. <laughs> That's it, I'm dropping you all into the ocean. <laughs> Scatter, we have to file off our serial numbers. <laughs> Would you like you guys have serial numbers on your armor? Uh, oh dear. Uh, Adaptco is a blight on my kingdom. I've been far too patient with the corporation. <laughs> Let's see. What a cute little <laughs> what a little cutie princess Faraday is. <laughs> Us flying princesses should stick together. Uh, uh, what the heck is... What are you up to? Why are you act, trying to act casual? Knock it off! <laughs> that, but I can't help it, I'm hungry. What the heck? <laughs> we have a strict policy about not eating the staff here. <laughs> oh, n now I see. Their little wings are behind them. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole lot you can do uh, to the minions, but eating them is definitely out. Not him, he has batteries. Delicious electric energy. I guess your battery is low, huh? Yeah, Lava Place has a whole bunch of thermal energy I can devour, though. Can we go to so I can recharge? Please, please, please. I tell you what, small fry. I keep chasing this minion here. And when I stop finding it funny, we can stir up some anarchy and Sukochi. Deal. <laughs> Get away from me, boss. Make it stop. <sighs> Just a one-note laugh. <laughs> New location has been added to your map. Uh, let's see, pizza, literally the weather report is just cloudy with a chance of evil. <laughs> Harbinger of doom, I'll lock Parrot as folly. Okay, that can't be any good. The FAC might be an android if sends, well, at least. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking she's similar to, we have more similar to an elemental of sorts. It's, you numbskull. What? You kidnapped Prince Malachi and not uh, Prince uh, Tepra? And Princess Tepra? Yeah. So. So, that totally bonkers up my plan. I needed you to kidnap Tepra, you dingus. <laughs> Her wimpy brother doesn't have any power there. You, you, were, you were going to ransom our other prisoner? <laughs> I'm at war with the ogres. I came with you to arrange a meeting with our leader. What was your plan exactly? Assassinate the opposing leadership? If it came to that. <laughs> but I need time to think. Go away. Uh, this entire ship is filled from the top to the bottom with loons. Yep. And now the other thing has been added here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's oh see. Uh, I was going to save up for this one, I think. So let's do that. Okay, we can't grenade jump, but we will just now be able to just hit anything we want by shooting it out of yeah, shooting it in a straight line. And we may as well upgrade our ammo some. You already bought this upgrade, Crow. Can't very well give you it. Give it to you again. Okay, nice little bit. Uh, yep. 
And then we just have a grenade a grin assault rifle. Okay, I, I get the feeling she's supposed to be a little bit behind him, not literally behind him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this game's managed to find new ways wait, to fuck me up. Can't even ask you, Becky, if she has any new info. Yeah, I can't. Other than the fact that she wants to pluck that fairy's wings. Adapco was my first villain job. I prefer this operation. It is smaller, but more hands-on. <laughs> what is the point of being a villain when I can't I cannot get my hands dirty? Isn't that what mains are for? Someone's angling for a raise. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, pizza, will be lurking, talking here and uh, here and there, playing my Paper Mario, trying not to get a whole cut out of me or get tied up by rubber uh, bands. Kinky. <laughs> Man who is getting a rubber, uh, who is made of rubber bands or gets shot by color pencil minigun. <laughs> oh, hello, Melikite. Crow Beans, what's up, buddy? I really need a solid, my man. <laughs> if you promise to never call me Crow Beans again, I'll consider your request. So check it out. Before you threw me into princess jail, I had a thing set up. A thing. A thing and a place with some people. Five of them to be specific, like a hand. In this metaphor, I'm the all-important thumb. You lost me. Short version, I've got, a, uh, I've got a booking as a contestant on a hot new game show, and I really cannot miss it. It is a matter of life and death. Is it? Yes. Is it really? I'm not wrong. We are too busy. Those things are scams anyway. Ah, oh, come on, please. As ludicrous as this sounds, sir, it is my recommendation that you should participate. What? <laughs> this particular show, Would You Date a Supervillain, has a viewership of well, over, <laughs> of well over 3 million people every week. <laughs> Your reputation alone would skyrocket, not to mention growing social media engagement, increased merchandise sales, and I'm projecting a 6% rise in fear-mongering. <laughs> Are you sure? 100%, sir. Alright, fine. But this better not be a waste of my time. Yep. Can we just no. jump straight into it? <laughs> uh. Let's see, but it's a... Uh, uh, to name a few, of course. Oh, and completely forgot to tell you, but I got some good news. Oh, that's the about on pizza. <laughs> This is absolutely a waste of my time. Welcome everyone to this week's Would You Date a Supervillain? Known in hero circles as Why Would You Date a Supervillain? <laughs> I'm your host, Fredman Frowney. We have three lucky, very lucky bachelors up here with us on stage today. Is that lady a bachelor too? Yes, security! <laughs> <laughs> I did not do that. That was the game, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, Wilhelm's out of the competition. Uh, first contestant, come on out, please. <laughs> Everyone, put your hands together for the beautiful Princess Cherry May Apple. Oh, is that why she was let out of the brig? <laughs> Princess Mayapple is from the fabulous beacon of civilization, Macro City. When she is not making policy decisions, she enjoys organizing go-kart races, playing golf and tennis, and beating the crap out of her friends in kingdom-sanctioned fight matches. Oh, oh dear. Wait, what? <laughs> Princess Mayapple, ask away. Also, Malachi just impatiently... <laughs> with his foot over there, which is rather smoothly animated, I must say. Uh, let's see. Hello there, Marco. Uh, you just jumped into an extra bit with 
nefarious where we just got dragged into a a, a date show would you date a supervillain <laughs> yeah uh, it's a lot of said something as well here uh, let's see the term so the thing is that a few hours ago, my blood sugar hit the mark it needed to hit, which is below 160. It was uh, 153, but that was after only eight hours of fasting. But I did eat after you know, that. But uh, no, it might go below 160 soon uh, enough with enough fasting. Okay, for your operation, yeah? <laughs> okay, yeah, good luck with that pizza. Uh, I Fasting can absolutely suck. You just I, I say this as someone who... Uh, couldn't eat well for a good long time because of a jaw operation and yes you get sick of the stuff and the few stuff that you can eat quick enough <laughs> uh, let's see Marco my answer is fuck yeah uh, yeah from uh, pizza uh, I just came in after I got done playing a game which required a lot of thinking okay which then the strategy or so and <clears throat> while we wait for answer my first question is for everyone how would you prepare for a date with me? Uh, <laughs> build a giant robot, bake a, <laughs> a picnic lunch, what's a date? <laughs> okay, <laughs> what would you say? I don't remember the answers for these at all. I'm sure if it matters, matters what you uh, apply, but I don't know that if we have a surprise or a solve from this though. Okay, um, uh, that was Marx's, you know, <laughs> Marx's, you know, thing there. Uh, my bad on that. Uh, yeah, but... Let's go with the classic. <laughs> First, I would construct a giant robot in your image. Then, with it, rampage from Micro City in your name, earning you the fear and respect of your once not so population. Turning them into fanatical slaves for their new globe spanning empire. <laughs> All will know you are lured to shiver at the mere utterance of your name, a fear that runs deeper than anyone could ever concoct. <laughs> Wait, what was the question again? Crow. <laughs> Next. Well, I would start with a bath heated uh, by the flaming souls of the Forsaken. With some light touch of chili powder on the neck, and just in case things get heated. <laughs> wow, that's surprisingly honest. Only the best for you, my spicy apple blossom. Are, are apples spicy? Moving on, Malice. Now you're new. Uh, I, uh, well, I would start by fueling my fleet of death ships so they uh, can later rain down destruction upon your castle. I would then demand your uh, yeah, eventual surrender and later uh, corporate merger. Yeah. Right. So that way both of our mutually beneficial industries may th uh, thrive in these tough economic times. Uh, that sounds sweet. We should talk after all of this. I have some great ideas for expanding your business model. Um, sure thing. Next question. Actually, can I ask my own question? Oh, improv? Sure, let's take this puppy off road. Do you actually see yourselves as villains? Uh, no, deflect or lie? Uh... Uh, let's try this. <laughs> Whoa, hey, we're getting a little too meta, aren't we? <laughs> I mean, what is a villain? It's all a matter of perspective. <laughs> a villain is a jerk who ruins my ceremonies by blowing up my guests. <laughs> well, next time maybe you'll invite me. <laughs> me? A villain? Perish the thought. The media loves to portray me as the bad boy demon lord. I may sometimes be too hot to handle, but I am a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Just going to throw in all the cliché lines. And I am loving these insightful questions. You're doing great, Maple Baby. Uh, you spent your entire life unlocking and sharing the ancient secrets of magic, take on thousands of students in a lifetime of research. 
No one calls you Malice the Great Enlightener. But you release just one health beast, suddenly you're on this unhinged summoner. Whatever, next time I summon Lord Zorgolon, I'll totally be able to control it this time. Could you not? <laughs> Prince, uh, let's, let's actually check chat a bit. Uh, Marco, puzzle agent. I also laughed from how weird it was. Can't say I've heard of it before. <clears throat> Princess Mayapple, you've taken our lucky bachelor as his temperatures. <laughs> Great wordplay. Now it's time to answer the question. Would you date a supervillain? Well, I think villain is an outdated subjective term. We're all just people trying to do what we think is best for society as a whole, and... Yes or no, Mayapple. I think under the right circumstances, I'd give it a shot. I'm reasonably single, after all. <laughs> and we beat her axe into a pulp. Let's hear it, folks. Who do you think Princess Mayapple should date? Uh, oh, wait, we get to choose? <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, so... Wait, the participant doesn't get to choose? <laughs> but then again, it's a, gay, it's a game show about supervillains. Of course, they, they get kidnapped, not to choose. I guess uh, nefarious, or... I'm half tempted to say her, of all things. Let's go with her. Yep, mash buttons. What? Yep. Literally mash buttons. <laughs> to try and fill it. <laughs> Malice and Mayapple has kind of a nice ring to it. So does Mayapple and Malachite. True, but I'm not sure if I'm up for a long distance relationship. <laughs> Uh, we, we haven't even met Malice, I think, so she could be even more long distance. And just think, I could help her uh, help with her reform. I choose Malice. <laughs> the princess's heart has been kidnapped. By me. Is that your new tagline? <laughs> well, th that is it for Princess Mayapple. Our new couple gets an all-expenses-paid dinner at... <laughs> Dodo Grill, your one-stop shop for simulated extinct meats. <laughs> Let's be honest, if we could get, bring the Dodo back, that is exactly what we would do with them. Nope. <laughs> we, we wouldn't, but there's one problem with the li that idea. Um, uh, <laughs> the Dutch wrote down its flavor. Ah, uh, right, and it was gamey as all fuck? No, yes! It was not, it wasn't good. I ate it out of desperation and it was easy to catch, <laughs> but it was not tasty. And not, not that it was gamey, just not tasty. <laughs> okay, it so in a way, in a way we did the Broken Planet a favor by saving them the taste of awful chicken. It, it, you can see, they, I feel like that's outstate, you know, they said it tasted bad but edible bad but edible and again they were running at low on food so <laughs> yeah you see so why they ate them yeah and let's see marco the plot is that i'm an <coughs> pardon <clears throat> The plot is that I'm an FBA, uh, FBI agent uh, trying to get an eraser factory working through solving puzzles and the president wants me to do it just so he can do crosswords. <laughs> that sounds uh, stupid enough. Uh, <laughs> it sounds stupid enough to actually make uh, the case, yeah. <laughs> yeah, heard of a game. puzzle game. <clears throat> I think I've heard of it. I might oh. even seen maybe or some of it. Wait, wait, wait. Now I'm thinking... Is it... Does it take place in like a... Uh, uh, I, I'm completely blanking on where, but uh, a snowy area with a lanky uh, character in a brown coat. That I think I might have heard about it through uh, Ross's game dungeon. I think yeah. I heard it from another YouTuber and seen some of it. I think uh, I saw one of the sequels to it. 
Uh, market confirms that it is. Yeah, okay, that's... That, I haven't heard about that in like 10 years or so. <laughs> and he also says expired milk car is the best. Um, moving on. <laughs> but I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Our next contestant is a secretary you don't want to mess with. A major domo that will give you a major migraine. Please welcome the instrument of twisted machinations and bureaucracy, Backy Rockler. <laughs> this ought to be a barrel of laughs. Oh, she already looks pissed off. Well, Bax, can I call you Bax? No, the only back you get is the back of her hand. <laughs> Alright then, B, it's time to ask your first question. Very well. If you were my boss, what sort of benefit uh, packets uh, benefits package would I receive? Uh, we were thinking about that she was angling for a pay raise first you know, earlier. Dental plan and pay. All of this is something they uh, someone would want. Yeah. The benefits package is less about money and more side stuff. So let's go with the typical, they have great dental. I would increase your dental plan benefits. <laughs> Why, is there something wrong with my teeth? Uh, no, I mean... Uh, pass. Yeah, I think that was the wrong one. <laughs> okay, so there are good and bad choices on this, huh? Okay, you can look stuff up, stuff up about this up later or something. Uh, let's see, Marco. The voice actor of Clementine from The Walking Dead is also in there. Yeah. <clears throat> Malachite, if you worked for me, you'd be in hot water. I would have an office jacuzzi set up right in the main lobby. Uh, set up right in the main lobby. Uh, um. <laughs> now that's a job with benefits. First, I'd move you away from your current place of employment. Easy enough for an enchanting enchantress. I would then take over the world with you as my right hand henchmo woman. But that doesn't affect the benefits plan. I'd give you a kingdom or two as part of your signing bonus. <laughs> my own corporate kingdom, not a bad idea. Next question. Pretend you were, you were writing a love letter to me. What does it say? Let's see. You suddenly remember the love letter Captain Man asked you to deliver to Becky. You take it out and look at it. Uh, deliver it as promised. <laughs> Crumple it up and improvise. <laughs> Pretend you wrote it. Uh, do we make good on our words or... I think you should give it to her. Probably. And also, Marco is taking off because they're tired. Okay, sleep well, Marco. Yes, well, Marco. <laughs> dark pact. I'm at the terms of your dark pact with Captain Man. So, speaking of love letters, I made a dark pact with someone. Promise I delivered his love letter from Captain Man to you. Captain Man? I do not date heroes. <laughs> Somewhere far away, a single crier a viewer cries in agony. <laughs> okay, that, that, actually, that, that was the best outcome from that, just to humiliate him on public television. Uh, well, B, it's time to make your choice and answer the question. Would you date a supervillain? But first, let's see what the audience thinks. <laughs> okay, so that's the thing. The audience picks. Well, obvious. Uh, office romance, have the audience choose Crow to date Becky. Holy! <laughs> I believe we have an HR policy that prohibits employees dating each other. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm the head of the HR department. <laughs> So an exception may have to be drafted. 
I choose crew. I thought the beans are going to be so happy. <laughs> Our lucky new couple wins an all expense paid trip to <laughs> Winter Down Ski Resort. <laughs> Enjoying hot cocoa in a lovely war torn winter down. <laughs> in in a lovely worn torn winter down a mere stone's throw from active conflict. It's like you read my diary. Speaking of winter down, our next guest happens to govern the icy nation. Oh, wait. Oh, this is. Oh, I oh, already know. We, we, it's, <laughs> I, just, I just noticed his eyes. <laughs> I noticed. Uh, this is how it. Smoothly moved into that face. He actually slow just opened his eyes. Sort of. Wait, what? Okay, I'm making a note just to check that out. I'm the recording my for myself. <laughs> uh, it, 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 he's shitting a brick right now. He is totally shitting a brick. <laughs> That's right. It, it's one of the world's greatest warriors. Princess Alisa Aguilera Anushka Ariela. <laughs> I'm not even going to. <laughs> Glad to be your man friend. <laughs> Always a pleasure, Princess. Well, it's time to fire away. Not with the automatic crossbow, though. That one they confiscated. Alright, bachelors, it's time for you to run the gauntlet. Describe your perfect sunny afternoon with me. No, 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 no chance. Oh, it looks so tense. Uh, he, he's, he's, he, he is scrapping out an entire brick shit house. He is going to need to get in there to get the rest out. I was, oh, come on, crow. That's a bit too dark. Uh, after dining on a three-course meal of arsenic, cyanide, and candy corn. <laughs> oh, probably I'll never tire of your callow humor. You like to fight, huh? I suppose I could summon a legion of ancient horrors for you to battle. Beasts which existed before time began to blur the lines of reality. <laughs> Existing in the third and fourth dimension of space and time. Uh, of course, because this is a 2D game, there's no third dimension. <laughs> Merely gazing them has been known to drive people insane. And then afterward, perhaps we would open up a nice bottle of fizz. That doesn't sound half math. Uh, fire-related pun. And then I, uh, um... <laughs> Spit it out, dandy boy. Ah, right, I... You're an enemy of my nation, so music change. We would go someplace. No, I can't do this anymore. Ariella, I need you to know something. It changed again. I feel powerless at home to stop this war between our nations. I'm haunted, haunted by my I'm haunted by my family's bloody legacy and my sister's genocidal desire to wipe out the dwarfish people. And I admire your determination to end this battle. I secretly uh, read every shred of propaganda you uh, dispense into my country. And I want so desperately to stand up to that uh, tyrant of an ogre princess and shout no more. No more war, no more violence. We bleed fire and ice on fields of blue and uh, red. It has to end. Ogre and dwarf can live in peace. It's too much. I break my loathsome silence. This war must end. That was actually... If, if, oh, hello, Princess Aurelia. Ariella, I love you. Uh, I guess the game chooses for us. Huh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't believe that I just committed high treason on national television. I can't go home. She's going to kill me. My sister will have me executed. Relax. 
I'm with you, Danny boy. I didn't think you had it in you. But maybe it's a good thing that purple nitwit got you out of there. Boy. Hey, I'm a purple genius, thank you. This is new helium. <laughs> let's take a let's take advantage of the situation a little longer. We'll stay on his ship and hash out some plans. It sounds nice. <laughs> you hear that, Tepra? We're coming for you. Buckle up. I had to say, I'm first unused to see her calm face compared to the one we see every time she talks. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think we can call this an episode. Deception, surprises, high treason. You never know what will happen next on. Would you date a supervillain? No. <laughs> I've been your host, Manfred Frowny. <laughs> Winners don't do drugs. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Manic co-production, a uh, host. Uh... George, it's my day off. <laughs> Jack Flash Dance. Don't put me in the credits, Johnson. It goes uh, so fast. <laughs> the and the game. dating game. <laughs> oh man, I'm still shaking. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> Your people are strong, but they're also smart. As much as they'd like to battle, there is a portion who see no value in meaningless conflicts. We'll get through to them. The others don't do anything crazy until I take over the world. We'll see what comes first. Fates can wait until after our, your plans come to fruition. Plus, we need to get back up on track. Yeah, because we went so far off track, we circled the planet to get back on them. Yeah, we still need to get some of the batteries. <laughs> or... Oh, great. Full speed ahead. <laughs> I mean it more literally. <laughs> Princess Tepper was quick to anger over her brother's declaration. <laughs> she is utilizing the rattle track rail system to launch an offensive. Our home base is in danger. Oh, crap. Let's go, Crow. Me and you are going to take this tyrant down. <laughs> oh, my hero. Oh, I swoon for you. Is that the words Crow or her? Very well. Our goals are aligned. Let's ride out. Get away from the wheel. Only I get to punch it. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> Actually, everyone out. Go back to work or back to lounging for your royal folks. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, and let's see, pizza, words to live by, and finally this is over. Yeah, I got it short, and it's there most of the comedy reasons. Let's see, we have Villain HQ, not Villain HQ, we have Villain Museum, Rattle Track Rails, and then over here, Pharaoh's Folly. Which shall we do first, this one? Let's go Pharaoh's Folly. Okay, since we're already over it anyways. So I think you <laughs> want to do all the side quests. Okay, you've drained all the assault battery packs on the ship. <laughs> Officially making you a problem I can't ignore. Energy, this place is loaded with latent energy. <laughs> you are a pint-sized pain in my purple patoot. <laughs> Boss, please, patoot. Fine, not my greatest application of alliteration. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's get let's get the nom noms. I believe you two are looking for the lava core. Supposedly it powers Tepra's palace. Oh, oh that's going to piss her off. Perfect. <laughs> Disrupting operations is a win-win for us, but I have some reservations. Dinner reservations? No, we have a bad feeling about this. Good. <laughs> It'd be boring otherwise. And you're still butchering it. 
I feel like you probably end up missing more conversation we could have done by the there. <laughs> I still, for people who can handle these kind of games, I definitely recommend you people to play this. But I think it's cheap. And it's not that no, long. Like... Yeah. Oh, at least it, it's, it is longer than a Helian effort first. Yeah, I I thought you know, last time I thought we'd we'd get done with this game today, but yeah, likely oh, not. No. Let's see. Oh, uh, and I mentioned it, the architecture. Yeah. And now we missed dialogue there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, that, that that's uh, oversight. You know what? So I think they would have expected you to not yell during dialogue. What a lot of you. <laughs> okay, would it be nice if they had the dialogue repeat there? Okay. okay, I I do have to say that I'm getting a bit tired of the instant death fields everywhere. But it is lava. True, but still, yes, have some more solid ground everywhere instead of just everywhere with this. Okay, just moving on. So much jade! Hmm. 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 You, you little sneak! Okay, do we need to get rid of all of this? Bye bye! <laughs> Suddenly, just a fist coming through the freaking floor. It, it crown. Okay, at least we know where it is for possible play or replay throughs. Okay. Oh, this is going to suck. I thought you activated a trap. I thought someone tried to drill you. <laughs> nope. Luckily enough, this time. Oh, and bye bye. Okay, but we still catch a cannonball to the face. Secret Shinobi Art Machine Gun. <laughs> okay. Give me that. Oh, you lot again. Uh. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> All right, science, pa science pants. If you're so smart, tell me. What's the square root of a sin when it's divided by a purple kangaroo? <laughs> Great question. You can't subtract a marsupial from itself except on days that end in what? Z? True, but today's Moen's days. Oh, my bad. In that case, the answer is 7 to the po uh, to the second power multiplied by your face. <laughs> Enough. I feel as though I'm listening to a crazy person's echo chamber. <laughs> I have to <Yeah>. agree. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, from Pizza Lover. A yellow hippo. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> yep. Uh, apparently, I scared that one off because I'm pretty sure not a single one of, one of those bullets actually hit the one there. I think we can uh, add pizza lover into the insane, uh, the crazy people. But we haven't already. So I guess technically you're a next gen princess. I will be the princess of science. Science research and being immigrant. Then what now? Look it up. <laughs> okay, I, I was, I was expecting her to be all naive and such, but no. She's got a bit of a sharp tongue on her when she wants to. <laughs> oh dear gods! 
Oh, no, I think I know what happened now. They they jumped back when you right tried to shoot them. And the one ah. I shot is... Yeah, actually, no, I'm pretty sure I saw him fly right straight back. Yeah. Some pizza lover? I am indeed crazy! Why did I do an accent there again? Give me that. And that. And up and away. I'm crazy for that ass. <laughs> so that's a lot of them. Holy! Some money in Tengu! And Oni! Yeah, he's just stuck there. <laughs> uh, by which... Nah, this isn't exactly an example of an unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. This is just an immovable object and something to dump the move around. So you take a lot. You were saying? Well, this looks nice and ominous. Uh, why is that one in such disrepair, unlike everything else? Uh, oh. Probably because people don't want to come down here. Hi, Gary. The hunger, the hunger. Something delicious is right up ahead. Why do we get the feeling we're going to drain Cthulhu to feed this thing? Ooh, it looks so tasty and shiny. Ah, uh, Princess. Maybe you shouldn't go near that thing. Princess? Farah? And she's already in it. Well, Sovereign Scanners are picking up major energy fluctuations down there. Would you like to clue me in? So much energy. Nope. And we overfed the gremlin. Uh, the gre Are you telling me that's related to... I am fully realized. I see your world below me, full of misery and agony. Do I mend it? I have the power now. I could rejuvenate it with fire. Please not. Or do I apply a healing salve to purge the toxicity? Is this what I was meant to be? A perfect leader. A princess? Or a goddess? Is there another way? Will I lay my hands upon the scorched earth? No. It is not my time. This is too soon. The perfect ruler knows patience. I will return one day. When the world needs me most. Mope, I think uh, half the planet's population just uh, started foaming at the mouth. Okay, she might be elemental. Rue, what happened just there? What the crap, Farah? What was all that talk about fire and purging? I don't know. My hand is all turtles and paint chips right now. The rule just became so... small. Like a little blueberry. Listen here, pipsqueak destroyer of worlds. No destroying the planet, and more importantly, no more siphoning energy off my ship. I'm full anyway. Thank you so much for bringing me here. You're giving me a stomach ulcer. Hey, what? Uh, that's essential terror. Witness the might and fury of monster, Farah. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy being a purple genius, is it, Captain? <laughs> I suppose there are many sorts of villains out there. I've been thinking of ways we could possibly utilize Monster Pharaoh. But we're in, a bit in the business of ruling world, not destroying it. Best we stick to your plan for now. Yeah, and yeet her into the nearest black hole. 
Too sorry, I thought I was staring at the end of the world. Who would believe our little barrel cake would become such a thing? I faded on her in Aurelia's arms at the sight of her. Oh, he <laughs> you spoke... He you said a Japanese swear. <laughs> okay, that explains why. He you said shit. <laughs> For a moment there, it seemed like she was gonna cause some real damage. Know what I have to do now to make sure she never threatens the planet again. Uh... I'll do my best to be a good role model for her. Oh, you had me going there for a while. Yeah, I've really missed some uh, dialogue earlier, but... Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh, all the more reason for people to try to gain for themselves as well. Things are getting a little serious, aren't they? I'm glad the situation was handled. I'll need some time to process this. Are you still chasing them? Being big is fun. The only downside is I can't play pranks. <laughs> Everyone would see me coming a hemisphere away. <laughs> Boss, make him stop chasing me. <laughs> I'm not even hungry anymore. Now it's just funny. <sighs> Who knew that Pine Sign's terror was an existential threat? Here I thought it was the toughest on board. And I guess there's always a bigger fish. Or bigger... Uh, <laughs> eldritch fish. <clears throat> anyway then. <laughs> Moving up. Don't you talk to Becky? Or do you, mm. wait, do you only talk to her? Yep. She was the first one we ran across, after all. All right. Now, let's see about the Villain Museum. <laughs> Since we're at the Villain Museum, I'm authorizing shore leave. I'm not completely sure we have time for this, boss. <laughs> this place is important for aspiring young antagonists everywhere. Anything to get off this dreadful ship for a spell. Let's use the buddy system. I call Aphrodia. Aphrodia? I forgot not to say her name, but... I've always wanted to see General Bassanai's bones. Fine, count me in. Uh-oh. <laughs> Have fun falling. Uh, oh! Okay. No coins to miss! Okay. I, I was expecting to get an instant kill that. Never mind. <laughs> well, that's the first clip in a while. Just perfectly timed, huh? That bloody yum scared me! <sighs> okay, okay yeah. let's try that again without getting eaten. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> uh, that, that was a good one, devs. <laughs> Wow, a visit for our most charitable of benefactors. Welcome to the Villa Museum. My name is Ben, and I'll be your tour guide. I may be a little wordy, but bear with me. The last exhibit is super cool. Also, I'm not progressing, though. Some of these go on their own. The Golden Vinyl, donated by none other than yourself. Great boss fight music. I see why you play it during your battles. <laughs> Scorpio's Jade Eye, generously donated by the villain himself. The Insectia Kingdom used to be in a constant state of civil war. 
The natives are segregated by species. Scorpior, uh, Scor or, you know, was created to be a powerful weapon. Uh, eventually, Princess Aphrodite brought peace to the lands. It's effectively put Scor uh, Scorpio, uh, Scorpio, uh, out of a job. Uh, now he's trying to get back in uh, an age of conflict where he can thrive. He's one bad bug. He turned on his creators, all right? Then. This vine was a vast improvement over your era, uh, your era one boss music. <laughs> it always gets me pumped up to kick hero butts. <laughs> Sing out. What's your endgame in uh, all this? A decent paycheck. Like I believe that for a second. It doesn't really matter what you believe. <laughs> Pretty mouthy for a secretary. I like it. Wait, crown? <laughs> it wouldn't you be a of, uh, villainous of us to not steal something, huh? If you ever wanted to see the remains of General Bassanite, look no further. This giant ogre waged a war on the dwarfs of Winterdown nearly 50 years ago. His daughter, Princess Tepra, stubbornly carries on his violent legacy to this day. This display seems macabre, but don't worry. These are just replica bones, commissioned by the princess. She wants everyone to know what an imposing figure her father was. Uh, wait. Let's talk to him. Yeah, that as well. Also, why do I get the feeling that she's probably exaggerated his size? When your pops is this big, how hard is it n uh, not to live in his shadow? You are kind of a shrimp, but my jaw is still sore from when your sister slugged me. She's a fighter, but me, I'm a lover. All these princesses stoke the flames of my heart. Seriously reconsidering my equal opportunity kidnapping, uh, kidnapping policy. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. This is the wing you dedicated. Here we have your lineage. You come from a long line of big name villains. And of course the first one is a freaking pixel. This way, this way. This is the hall of magnificent minions. I understand these minions went above and beyond the call of duty. I'd even call them winions. Not everybody cares about his underlings, but deep down I know you do. <laughs> that slander, I won't have you cleaning up my bad name. Sorry, good sir. Uh, bad sir. <laughs> okay, these, these are Patreon people, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's see. Hawk. My great-great-great-grandpa. He built my empire with his own two, uh... Did he have hands? Is this the highest resolution image we have of him? <laughs> oh. Harrier. My great-great-grandpa. Jeez, were they charging by the square? Vulture. My great-grandpa. Kind of a black sheep in my family. He became an anti-hero. <laughs> it's graceful. Okay, and then we have Nintendo 64 era. Condor. Gramps, always had a scheme within a scheme. <laughs> Buzzards. Dear old dads, that old buzzard taught me everything I know. <laughs> yeah. Line lineage of tyranny, read all the portrait descriptions. <laughs> Oh, oh dear. This whole place is like one big museum to your buffoonery. <laughs> Come on, you know this place is, this place is kind of cool. Fine, it has. I will admit it has an adequate display of chicanery. <laughs> I'm not completely sure that's a compliment, but I'll take it. Our two kingdoms should really engage more. We are neighbors, after all. Our people find each other repulsive-looking. 
nonsense. A good old-fashioned round of go-karting and they'll forget their differences. <laughs> Not everything can be solved by go-karting. What is this, a backdoor test? Talk more about me. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Mac talk. The malicious, the Macli malicious uh, Macalo Macalo maniac made his mark on Macalomania. <laughs> David Hunt, a master of deviousness and skullduggery, <laughs> throws the inspiration to all that oppose the heroes. My greatest wish is to see his name fears throughout the world. <laughs> Ira. I'm the undefeated Pachinko champion, what? Axon, the hero of rhyme. That hero bit was a, you know, it has to be a typo, right? Albert Frost. Villainy, as much as uh, art as writing or drawing. And yeah, those are the top five patrons, and hello. And this, well, to be honest, I don't recognize this exhibit. Uh, that's because we aren't an exhibit. We're the travel arrangers. We're here to put a stop to, to stop this madness. For justice, for love, for all the above, prepare yourself, villain. <laughs> wow, you people are uh, too corny for even me to handle. Well, I can see that this is a private matter. I'll see myself off. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Really? The musical Megazord? Wait, I'm usually the guy in the giant robot. That's my thing. <laughs> Enough talk, evildoer. Prepare to face justice once and for all. Well, I guess it's fun to flip the script once in a while. And guard you color-coordinated nerds. <laughs> uh. Are you are you going to are you going to EDM me to death? <laughs> Okay, shoot the no uh, shoot their headsets. Yep. Yep. It's coming back for the remix. Yep. <laughs> Time you to go, everyone. <laughs> Defeat the treble rangers. <laughs> but sir, you haven't even seen the remodeled gift shop. <laughs> Next time, Ben, you know, you've got a new exhibit to add. <laughs> Curse you, Val villain. <laughs> Come up with some better insults, you second rate wannabe. See you next time, losers. Okay, now I'm actually kind of curious what they uh, <laughs> what they had for the what they actually had for the exhibit before they destroyed it. Or act wait a minute, did did they just bust down the wall and wait there until he, we showed up and Ben thought it was a new exhibit? My pin? I'm going with that. That's funnier. Mm. Our VRP minions are getting a bit, uh, getting a little big for their bridges. All this league, we should toss one overboard to remind them who is in charge. <laughs> Which one did you have in mind? We will find out in the morning. <laughs> <sighs> Anything new here? Nope. What an, what an educational experience. Now pa I wish Pa was still around. I could certainly use some probably advice. Um, considering he disliked wolves... Uh, um... Yeah. The only, the only fatherly advice on love he'd get would be jump off the nearest bridge. <clears throat> I had the Trouble Rangers play the Royal Gala once. They were a delightful bunch, Shame you had to beat them up. Who themes themselves to a certain color? What a bunch of nerds. Looks around at everything. Are you serious? You don't know anyone else who is thematically tied to a certain color? Can't think of anyone, no. Maybe someone who is obsessed with the color purple. Enough riddles. Uh, 
Crow may be a genius, but he's also a bit of a bird brain. We could do with more sophisticated beings like that scholar Ben. Even if a museum dedicated to villainy is flat out weird. Okay, you got anything to add or are you too busy nibbling on the bones? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they didn't they didn't come up they didn't even come along. I tried to hurry your secretary from under you, but she wasn't having any part of it. Now that's dedication. Okay, we throw her overboard next. No, 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 no. The minions. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we throw the minion overboard, and then we uh, tie no, a rope we... around her and use her to try to get him out. No, 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 no. <laughs> we, we, we need her. We need her. <laughs> oh, what? She, she can just eat the minion if she gets hungry on, on the way down. What? Okay, rattle track rails. Oop. I know the perfect lady for the job. Colonel Apricot, front and center. Ah, what a cutie. Wait, what are you doing over there? Accessorizing. What are you up to? You get to wear a western hat? This <laughs> is stupid. Let me guess, she's going to say, give me one. <laughs> What's a cool hat, too? <laughs> Fair enough, come take your pick. Why do we have so many costumes? <laughs> because I'm a professional. Is this a dress? Whatever, I'm digging this look. <laughs> Would you hurry it up already? Oh yeah, we look awesome. I know, let's ride. <laughs> what in the name of all are you riding? I have no idea. <laughs> it's not a pig. And this coloration is stylistic. Not uh, because of it. We, we, we're in the shadow of this thing. It looks familiar. Why does it look familiar? I know it's not a pig. It looks like another animal I recognize that's not supposed to be that big. Some sort of armadillo without a shell or something? I've always wanted to rob a train. <laughs> me too, actually. <laughs> Stop having cool things in common with me. <laughs> Don't get invested in my plight just yet. <laughs> I plan on converting your ship to a cruise line when this is done. Uh. Uh. Yep, yeah, clear the short stack. <laughs> yeah, she is short. One. She lacks the stack. Unless it's stacks of axes. Yeah, she seems to have quite a lot of axes. Why is she keeping them? <laughs> don't want, don't think we want to know. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know my grandpa used to tie damsels to railroad tracks. That's pretty old school, but those are kind of messed up. Yeah, he didn't even ask for a ransom or anything, he just did it. I'm starting to think he wasn't all there. Yeah. yeah. But that would be an absolutely horrible way to die. You're basically getting cut in three. But the anticipation of it would probably be the worst of all. Since you know you are stuck and you know death is coming and you can see and hear it coming. I know this song. Classic train music. Tumble Gulch. <laughs> That's gotta sound amazing in my jukebox. You mean my jukebox? I'm the captain now. To think, I may end up dating an ogre. 
I didn't think Malachite was your type. I, can, uh, I, I like a man I can pick up and put over my... Stop, I don't want to hear this. Rude. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure she could pick up most of the, you know, most of the people on board. Maybe even one of the damn robots in, in the background. Okay, I need health. Thank you. Psycho Dynamite are right. Okay, so you wanna next? let it. Cyclops handle dynamite? And we're back to oh, never mind. Give me that. No, oh, come on! Okay, I don't like that those ones can shoot from off screen. <clears throat> but looks like you can attack off screen as well, though. Oh. I just realized. Mm. What is the cargo? Uh, bombs, I'm presuming, seeing as they are headed for Crow's headquarters. And I, th I think it's more that we can hit them just as they spawn, or just as they come on stream. Come on. There we go. Yep, I only now just noticed that Ar Ariella is wearing one of those uh, Western-style bowler hats. Wait, is the... Is it the they, they look adorable riding. <laughs> yep. Okay, there's the coal card, which means that we should be close to the end. Unless that's once for storage. The final crown, at least for this level. Time that round. Uh, give me that. Okay, and a checkpoint. Uh, hello. Uh, Hello there. Oh, that maybe is Raiden? Or inspired by Raiden? Now, there's, I know there's a Pokemon similar to this, but it's one of the Storm Brothers, I believe. Yeah, and I think the one named that shoots lightning is Raiden. I forgot who the other one is, though. Yeah, the other is uh, Sun. I, basically, I believe they are supposed to represent. Uh, thunder and lightning each. So let's just go with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, pizza lover, I think is I think uh, Mortal Kombat is basically one that gives the kind of popularize his name. Take that, you lightning monster thing. Raijin. Okay. Take that, Raijin. <laughs> Close enough. Would those axes be able to take down the engine? With our hard eyes throw them, I could take down a dozen trains. <laughs> then do it and let's get out of here. I've got sand all over me. Oh dear. There we go. <laughs> Trains delayed oh, permanently. So yeah, pizza, I mean, it's a cool name, yeah. It's also one that tends to get overused somewhat.
Oh, uh, yeah. Sirs, it appears we have re routed their ground forces quite successfully. Yeah, but we didn't find Big Red herself. The important thing is that the Doom Howitzer is safe. Speaking of, there are no more obstacles to your plan. It is time for us to rule the world. Wait, no, we have one more person, I think. You get the uneasy feeling that Princess Mayapple will not forgive you. The coordinates for home base are locked in. At your command, we can finish this once and for all. Let's see. Hmm. I don't see any other levels that we can go to. Yeah. Hmm. So I feel like it should be at least one more stream. Another harrowing adventure for the scrapbook. You don't seem the sort to be nostalgic. I was being sarcastic. But your adventure did produce a large amount of scrap. This can be salvaged and repurposed to gain more lucre, which is good for our books. Nice recovery. Thanks, boss. Okay. Oh man, I was watching from the airship. Uh, I'm pressing the button. There. My princess in shining armor <laughs> totally wrecked Tempra's crew. Oh, for my sake. I'm weak in the knees right now. What, we don't get a mention? I really is so heroic, swooping in and rescuing her prince. It's so inspiring. But don't you start pulling out a katana out of nowhere. <laughs> What a brute of a princess. I dare say I harbor... I harbor ill feelings towards that Princess Tephra. I'm glad we have Rariella in our corner. Yep. Uh, okay, what print screen. The? That's binary for something. You got real grit, Crow. I thought you were some half cocks yeah, egghead engineer in a tin suit. I mean, that's what you are, but you also don't shy away from a good fight. And you're kind of short for a human, you're practically a dwarf. <laughs> okay, again, we, we go, we're going fishing with her as the bait. Let's see, may as well get that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's double check that there are no other levels and such. And well, if there aren't, we'll have to head for the headquarters and see what uh, happens. I, 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 suspect, some very... hmm? I suspect the May Apple will I give you a bonus level. Hmm. But we just talked to her and nothing came up. So, it probably won't happen until we get to the new area. Bramble Flats. Okay. We have them. It is time to take them to the secure uh, location. I did not think it was possible. We have finally truly broken the status quo. We did the boss. We can finally power the Doom Howitzer. Kingdoms of this world will have no choice but to bow to, our, to your demands. All hail me. Hmm. Sir, we have a real problem in our hands. Several armies have converged to our location. Take evasive action. Get us to my hidden fortress. It's too late. We're taking heavy fire. Yep. Those maniacs, what are they doing? We have princes on board. Aboard. Uh, uh, incoming communication, it's her. She doesn't care about the others. Puny worms, you thought that I would not catch wind of your plot. I'm Tephra, princess of ogres. Uh, I demand the surrender of your prisoners. 
I will claim to do an howitzer for myself. You know you have to use your brother to power that thing. And the lights, my witless brother will finally be of use to me. Harsh. But enough chatter. I will bring your ship down and take what I need from the wreckage. Dip. Hello, crow. Bye, crow. Okay. Now you see what I said. It felt like we are not actually close to the end. Yeah. And from what I can see, the timer. We definitely have at least one more stream. Yeah. Okay. So I, I have made overestimated how long this is, but it's it's definitely it looks a bit far over the a pre-episode stream. Okay. Yep. And there she goes. Yep. Losing parts all over the place. Oh crap, now we can't do the trick with bouncing a grenade behind it. And again, we don't have to stick around. <laughs> Lost. It seems to me that the... Some enemies have rather small hitboxes. <laughs> it's, it's the officer from the first level that takes us down. The what now? The, the, the basic enemy from the first level that takes us down on that. Yeah, well, so did, did you actually call them alphas? No. Alright, and I was the one mishearing them. Give me that. Hmm. Oh, right, that thing does a wave slash. Okay, it is actually good. <laughs> it is actually a bit tough to have to get through. Okay. Wait. Were those just completely blocking the path? Because I'm pretty sure we can't actually defeat those. Okay, that's... Yeah, I suspect they have uh, this... May Apple thingy... And some few things more. Also, apparently, Macro City's army is just the police force. I guess that means it doesn't have a standing army. Get lost. <laughs> now we're gonna sneeze it. Mm. I'm pretty sure they're blocking the way here. Oh, no, wait. we can just stand on top of them. You can punch the projectile? No, that is damaging me. Oh. Okay, this is, this is being a bit much game. <laughs> that again. Okay, I will give. They, they seem to be, be coming out of nowhere, but you can see scorch marks on where they land. Okay. There. Okay, and since those deal a full heart of damage, that's going to save quite a bit. Time to be playing with that one. Luckily, still got that. Yep. 
Okay. Somehow, okay, somehow managed to thread the needle between those two. I'd say it probably would have been better if they had a more obvious sign that they were going to shoot, other than the eye. Because there doesn't even seem to be any uh, sort of a muzzle flash or something, or smoke coming out of it when they do attack. I think you can use them to identify when they're about to attack, just... Yeah, you need to keep an eye on their eye for that. Yeah, probably... Yeah. You're gonna need to have learned the pattern for quite a while before you can just look at the eye and go, "Is all right? I know exactly when." Right. It's rather haphazardly how they move around. So yeah, I feel like okay, they should have probably done something better to identify it's about to fire. Got a shield blocking those. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh, come on! That was a that was a full hearth each on both of those. Okay. The damage that some of these things deal is a bit BS. Can I? No, I can't punch through the roof just to tease him. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Is it just me or does it look like the shot comes from behind them? Yeah, it... Okay, that, that's just a stupid little thing. It looks like... The shot looks like it's come from behind them on that. Yeah, of course. At least we got a new checkpoint. Yes. Okay. I'm one strong hit away from death. Thank goodness for checkpoint and checkpoints give full health back. Yep. What the hell are they firing? Canadian gee? There's some sort of bird in any case. I just realized what one of the things that falls down are. What then? You, you, what if there was a companion cube? <laughs> hey, Zoss, boss. Looks like our ship blue screens. Stabil, we're stable. Oh man, you look like crap. I'm sorry, buddy. For the moment, I'm still on the clock. Yeah, let me manage your upgrades. One last time. It's, yeah, there's not much we can do. <laughs> there's not much we can buy. Let's see. You sure, boss? You won't be able to change your upgrades or purchase new ones when we're done. Let's see. I have a lot of vacation time banked up. I think I'm gonna cash in now. Stabil. And he goes offline. Uh, okay, maybe we are on the final level. Let's do this one more. But still not being able to upgrade? That's... Yeah, again, we're definitely not gonna finish it today, but... Next star is probably a good idea to at least have a backup ready. Yeah, there's something stuck underneath here. Um... 
Well, Ooh, have fun. Missed. Okay. Those bots have a really low hit point or hitbox. I can't go up there. Not without a grenade jump. But what's this supposed to be? Marbles on stream? Oh, come on. Okay, probably should not have rushed through that, but I will. Okay. Oh. Of course that goes into the destruction area. through him <laughs> no <laughs> okay next checkpoint thank you <laughs> get lost you Okay. There, give me that back. Okay. The fact that the, the the fact that the cannonball comes out from behind them makes it feel rather cheap with everything. My ship is sinking. Well, crap, huh? Uh, so I'm not. I'm not sure if we can even stop if we want to now, because uh, because I don't think the game is going to let us stop in the middle of a level. I think it should give you a point of uh, save. Now we'll see if there is at the end of all of this. Or I'm somewhat doubtful of that, though. Yeah, for the, this is maybe the amount of overtime you don't want to take. Well, if the, if we can't start from a checkpoint, there's not much of a reason to. <laughs> Since we'd have to do all of this over again. Okay. Okay. What? Oh. We're supposed to go up that way, to the more to the left. Okay. Okay. What was that blue block floating over there? I'm sure. So, okay, those balls are a unit. It has to be in the roly polies. Alright. Oh, there's a never ending gauntlet of bullcrap. No. Up here. Okay. I have 
No time for you little jackasses. Especially if you're going to throw the health the other way. Yeah, we'll see if there is another level or not. Yeah, or... If I remember right, you probably want to get a bit more... Well rested. For the other parts. Dude, these fall practically the moment that we jump on them. Really? Mm. Okay, there we go. Just blast him off. Uh, hello there. Oh, boss. Wait, wait, wait. I'm on your side. Yep, no, come. Now, fighting and falling platforms do not meet, go well. Okay. Okay, now we're at our home base. Home sweet home. Yep. Be not afraid, we have gathered the armies of the world. Humans with insectians, dwarves, and ogres, once we were divided, but today we are united by one singular goal, a common enemy. Together we will vanquish Crow, though he has dispatched countless legions of you. Stonelar Prince has eluded our vaults and dispatched the mightiest among us. You might want to skip ahead to the encouraging parts. Uh, let me cut through the chase for you. But, Crow! <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> oh no. Oh jeez. No, no, no. Oh crap. Oh jeez. Oh no. It was like our entire army, ma'am. I'll take him down myself if I have to. Everyone get in the position. <laughs> what Honestly, have we what here? I spoke about maybe it needed to be a bit well rested. That's the one bro. Oh, hello. Oh snap, you really got one over us. This is the end of your arc, B-boy. Better make that snappy dialogue count. You're such a lame brain. After I take you down, I'm going for the chili dogs. Yeah, <laughs> going out for chili dogs. A one note hero to the very end. Okay, so now we get to fight different heroes with the, the different machines. Uh, or, did you actually know this is what... Against did, them in the past? Yeah. It's a redux. <laughs> We're just repeating it. Oh. Okay. Uh. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a gauntlet then, huh? Nope. Let's at least try and beat this one. And then we'll see... We will probably have to. We will probably have to do this entire mission next time, though. Yeah, but it's probably better to do it, you know, well rested and all. Hmm. As yeah. I noticed a pattern that the minute as we go over time with a bit more tricky games, that the next time we try it again, it goes smoother when you are not sleepy. Yeah. Okay, and that destroys the pod as well. Did you really have nope. <laughs> You'll not win this day. I've upgraded my arsenal. <laughs> Looks like the same crummy axe to me. Now you will think that, but no. Behold, it has been enchanted. Enchanted how? <laughs> Plus two to witty banter. No one likes a min max or grr. Really? Okay. 
Actually, it might be better with this guy to, you know, wait until he does his attack. And then just start giving him the stress test dummy, uh, or the stress, t uh, the stress ball treatment. Because he keeps parking himself right on the spots where we would hit him. Okay, the timer just went off, but let's... Let's try get and get this blow hard as well done. So why why enchant your axe if you have two better weapons? Yep. Let's see. Okay, one more should do. There we go. And let me guess, the next one, the last one, is going to be Mac one on one. I flat. Uh, uh, hello. Ah, oh, crowd, you guys again. Do I start combat by walking into you or. Uh, right. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I guess that turn based crap doesn't work out here. Go me. He literally just walked over them. Okay, I think they, they showed you mercy there. <laughs> you did it. You really, really did it. At long last, the rivalry is at an end. We had a good run, old friend. Typical talking to you, uh, talking to look, you've already won. Oh, but I have already won. What makes you so confident? I've beaten you a hundred times. You've beaten me once. Do you know what I call this particular device I'm sitting in? No? What? Chekhov's death ray. <laughs> because it it's <laughs> Because it came back at the end. Yeah, <laughs> defeated by an esoteric gag. Wait. Uh, what is going to be the end then? <laughs> or are we going to get back to traveling around or not? Uh, or was that it? Uh... Boss, you made it. Oh. We'll be happy to know that I rounded up our means and gathered all the princesses. The Doom Howard Sir locked on onto their magical energy and crystallized their forms. I've loaded them up into the Howard Sir. We have been waiting for you. We've just been waiting for you. <laughs> You're the best, Bex. We have worked so hard. Let us end this. Halt, Hero Dueler. Didn't we just kick your ass? At you again, haven't you? I killed you enough times already. I admit I've made some errors in judgment. I've defeated you so many times in the past. <laughs> I came to think of you as, a harmless, as some harmless villain. But I didn't know that you were working on this abomination. Fortunately, I collected the seven legendary orbs of destiny <laughs> for just such an occasion. Oh, come on. <laughs> and I've become hyper Mac. <laughs> It, it just looks like you painted your armor. Becky, why didn't we prepare for the orbs? Do you know how hard it is to plan against all these random collectibles of power? And it's always seven of them, always tucked away in some huckleberry village. <laughs> if one of your artifacts of power is in a lightly dependent back border town, it probably is not that valuable to begin with. Enough of your mockery. My quest ends with your defeat. Okay, so one final boss fight, then it looks like. Uh, really? <laughs> okay, this. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have no. just a few. This one. It, this feels bullshit because we have only a slowly reloading shot or something. You're finished, Crow. 
<laughs> Hardly. You'd think I'd have come this far just to fail in the first phase. That's you, you can handle side to side movements and guard. Yep. Yep. Uh, this still feels stupid that we just get put in. that the last fight is just basically a floating gun. Especially with him moving around and like that. Your okay, music we can still, still can still turn. Uh, he is way too blighty for this. I have a bad feel about this. Uh, let, let's give it a few more minutes, and if it doesn't end after that, at, at least it seems to do a good amount of damage when we do hit him. Yeah, and at least you now know how to get uh, all the way back um, here. And wait, is he actually taking damage over time? I, I, I think he's having the same thing. Yeah, he's take, he's having the same thing as a Super Sonic, that he runs out of power. Would there be an achievement for running him down up on time with that? Give it up, bro. I could do this all day. I don't have all days. So what do you say we skip to the end? <laughs> More tricks up your sleeve? You're rotten to the core. <laughs> rotten, eh? Why don't you come say that to my face? Oh, now those as well. Okay. Even. I was to say, are we really almost? That was actually even. Did I get the last? Okay, I think, yeah, I got the last hit there. That's what you always wanted. Get the bad ending. And then there was nothing left to do. No more battles to be won. The Doom Howitzer was complete. Against the world's most powerful weapon, even the strongest of nations crumbled. <laughs> uh, resistance was short-lived. Okay, so the bad ending, but I don't see how we could <laughs> we could have gotten the good ending then. What oh, could they do? Pounds. We'll have to look that up, though, when <laughs> some fled. Yep. Who's the bat folk? Some surrender. Bat moths. Bats, moths. <laughs> I don't think we've seen them before, that's the point. Or I don't remember them, at least. One by one, the kingdoms fell under crow's rule. That's the funny thing about heroes. They need to win every time. The villain only needs to win once. That's the pony is you only ever saw us as a means to an end. I'll never forgive you, Mr. Crow. I'm a big enough dwarf to admit when I'm wrong. I underestimated you, Crow, so fair warning. If I get out of this, I'm going to break your legs. I was looking forward to a life of working with Ari Ariella. At least our crystals are near each other. What happened, Crow Beans? I thought I was winning you over. I'm pretty sure we've done every side thing that we could do. Okay, so now we get out? 
or or take other worlds, then we get out. Hello, is anyone out there? Crow. So this is my life now. I feel no hunger. I need no sleep. Locked in this magical stasis. An ages, an ageless, an ageless crystal powering a horrible machine. That's it. You've won. The world is yours. Is it everything you ever wished for? Hey. Okay, and she's just going to become Princess Leia. Yeah. I haven't seen the bad ending. Okay, I'm pretty sure we did everything, every level that we could do, so... No, for, I know you're supposed to do one with May Apple, which I forgot what it was, but I know you're supposed to do one with her. Well, we didn't uh, see one oh, pop God. up. I think it's something to do with the crowns. At least I hope it's just the cross and not that you have missed dialogue for... <laughs> if it's the dialogue missing part... Oh dear. Let's see. Well, this runs, so I'll look up the if there's anything about the good ending. And let's see. Pizza yeah. level. Wow, that was the most cancerous laugh I have ever heard. It's worse than the Joker laugh, though. <laughs> I can say it's a good evil villain laugh. I have heard worse. Let's see. Mm. TV tropes, nefarious. Uh, let's see. Finding page. Ending. Mm -hmm. A year. Multiple endings. Two main endings. But uh, the good ending being unlocked by completing all the side quests. I'm pretty sure we did all of them. Nope, yeah. we missed the... Uh, we missed uh, the least than one. And I would fix okay. this to be my apple. Hmm. Let's see, we'll have to check... Hmm. I'm, I'm presuming that if we... Oh, thanks again, none of this would have been possible without your generosity. I hope you enjoyed the game. It's Jesse Watson, more thanks to my parents. In, in memory of Anat Sin Asi, one of the best friends a guy could have. Rest in peace, brother. Hmm. Oop. Hey, crew, I know we're buddies and all, so I thought I'd let you know. I alone managed to escape. The heroes you vanquished have given up, which is upsetting. But maybe that was the problem all along. They were never the heroes to begin with. Here I am, a princess with no kingdom. You took everything from the world. Maybe that makes me a freedom fighter. As much as it pains me, I'm going to have to put our friendship on hold. At least until I can set the world right again. Since no one else will, it's up to me to rescue the other princesses. See you soon, buddy. <laughs> I'm not sure if that last bit is supposed to be... If there is no, if this, is that supposed to be threatening or not? <laughs> right. Hmm. Let's investigate. What do you need to unlock her, her side thingy or side quest? Side quest for. Let's see. Where does this put us? Uh, let's see. Wait. Where is she actually? Up there she yep. is. This is the longest I've ever been away from the castle. What an adventure this has been. Haven't you been stuck on my ship? 
What? No, I've been going on adventures with your minions. What? When? Like, every time you leave the ship... Yeah, stupid minions. Okay, so... Would it actually be that we have to talk to at a specific point? Because I'm not sure if I want to go through the entire game again just for that. Let's look at... If that's the problem, then yeah, that would be a... Yeah, a big problem. For that would mean you look, one easily look themselves out from a uh, good ending by accidentally missing dialogue. Let's see. Side quests. Uh, okay, there's only one line of that on the TV Tropes page. Not on how many there are or such. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just have to look that up then. And if it is just so easily missable, then we're... I'm not sure if I want to go through again, because... <clears throat> Let's see, Pizza Lover got a raid suggestion. Who then? Let me just clear this up. Okay, I'll need to clip that... Cl well, clip <laughs> in a bit after this. Uh, let's see. Switch. Screen share. And there. Let's see then. Um, also, might as well Google now. Nefarious side quests. Yeah, I can see you searching it for some reason. That's because I'm sharing the browser. Uh, right. uh, Omori. It's something else. Now that, that's Ratchet and Clank. I'll look that up another time then. For now, uh, let's see. Uh, anxiety diagnosed. Okay. Let's see. Browser is muted. Yes. Uh, let's see. They're playing Black Desert. Okay. It's a free MMO. It's just quite high in the graphics all the same. Okay. But still, let's take a look at everyone else who is online. We have Dr. Misunderstood playing Resident Evil Village. Reef the Leaf with Breath of Fire 3. Xenovia, uh, Xenovia playing Path of Exile. Nico is playing Dave the Diver. Uh, Theory oh Pop is playing Lethal Company. Chubbers is playing War World of Warcraft. Core Dust with Lethal Company again uh, uh, as well. I'm Nice still with Animal Crossing. Frogcast is also playing World of, Cro yeah, World of Warcraft. Touch Scaly Tail is playing Teardown. And last but not least, we have Halloween playing Indigo Prophecy, a.k.a. Fahrenheit. <clears throat> All right. Any of those mm. suggest or shall I take a pick? Uh, or let shall we pick. Uh, I kind of want to see how what Nico thinks of Dave, since we'll be getting back to that game eventually, maybe next week even, if we don't go back to redo Nefarious for the good ending. <clears throat> yeah. You normally we try to aim for the good ending or even true ending, depending on how tricky it is. But Ready, we may go for bad endings. Yeah, if if, if the if the if the one of the unlockables for the good ending is easily missed, then I'm not going to play through again. It is a fun game. But, but yeah. yeah. If it missed one by dialogue and I did try to hint at you to at least try to listen to all the dialogue just because they are funny, but you definitely easily missed a few. Yeah. And if it's dialogue sensitive, sorry, I have to say, if it's just the crowns, fine, that that's doable. That we can work with. But dialogue heavy? Di yeah. Dialogue blocked? An admissible dialogue, if that's required for the good ending, then I'd call that straight up bad design. Yeah. It, this is a bit sad, but it is. A, it does have good story and all, and a, it has a decent ending. Uh, let's see. Yeah. For now, though, thank you everyone else for watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza Lover. Do we have any of our lurkers? Yep, Sensei is there. <laughs> thank you as well. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching. And yeah, tomorrow we'll have Showcase Sunday and maybe finish off with LA Noir in the evening. And yeah, then we'll just 
we'll get to continue with Sonic Adventure through the rest through the main day or through the main week there on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And yeah, we'll we'll see on the next Saturday if we well if we go for the golden ending with Nefarious or if we move on to the next game. <clears throat> If you need to do some investigation, or Hillian needs to do some investigation, <laughs> I know yeah. I've seen a YouTuber do the two other endings. Yeah, there's, according to according to TV tropes, there's only two endings, bad and good, no third one. Uh, then I've seen the good one. So yeah, you, <laughs> your memory on this game was quite off, huh? It, he has been a while. <laughs> I do know we missed the secret boss and the side quest of okay. my apple. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into that if we can get to it without needing to replay through the entire game again. Uh, I'll, I'll consider it. If we have to start over, then I think it's going to be a no. Yeah, mm. if it's just the crowns... Again, crowns doable. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's the crowns since it says yeah. it's all the side quests unless getting all the crowns is a side quest. But, I mean, yeah, like, we'll I mean see. like, if the crowns unlock her side quest, that's what I meant. Okay. But yeah, for now... But that's yeah. what I said, if. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. It's re leaning rather heavily against. But yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. For now, though, let's get that raid started. And yeah. Thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, <laughs> Be safe everyone, sleep well, and watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and a certain crow. Oh, that's you. <laughs>